get the girls pregnant. Oh, yeah. Because you don't see nothing wrong with hugging and kissing and having some boy grind all on you and feel all on your breast and all on your backside. Go ahead. And then you have an argument with him and break up with him for about a week. And in that week's time, you already got somebody else grinding on you. That's right. And then you break up with him, somebody else grinding on you. Yeah. Well, holiness to make you love yourself and respect your body. Go ahead. And make you stand up to that boy and tell him, don't you touch me. That's right. Don't you touch me. I'm not a piece of meat. That's right. It'll make you love yourself. Oh, yeah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? And be it'll, not make, it'll make the man respect the woman. That's right. Not beat the woman, not abuse the woman, not slap the woman, Teach not it. cuss the woman out. Go ahead. When a person do that, it's because they ain't holy. That's right. They got to be transformed. Transformed by the renewing of your mind. What got to be renewed? By the renewing of your mind. When your mind is renewed. You don't look at a woman as a piece of meat. That's right. She ain't just something to lay with and then cook for you, then preach cuss it. out. Preach it. Preach it. Huh? Be ye transformed. Don't you know that a woman is a very valuable thing? Woman, you so precious until God church had the same title you have. That's right. God church is called bride. Right. God church is called wife. Right. Why do you think the church better title of a female? That's the church right. better title of a female because the church constantly produces. Produce. Don't you hear the Bible say God added daily? Yeah, God added daily. Just like when a man come to the woman and discharge seed, his seed fertilize the egg, and then what's in the egg and what's in the man's seed brings about the child and the child had the character of riches of both mother and father where the seed is the word yes. and the preacher must discharge she seed from the pulpit Go ahead. And that seed which is the word fertilize your heart hallelujah. and you take on the characteristics of your lord go ahead ah. go ahead hallelujah hallelujah All right. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take hallelujah hallelujah if hallelujah. i take on the characteristics of god mm. i think like god i think Again, sin the way God think Go about ahead. it. Go ahead. Go ahead. take God, but I gotta be transformed. Transformed by the renewing of your mind. I gotta be transformed. Transformed. Hallelujah. I got to be transformed. That's right. By what? But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Don't you hear Paul said down to Philippi, let this mind mm, be, in you. be in you. That's also in Christ Jesus. Notice the first word, let this mind. Let. That means you got to volunteer and willingly give your mind over to the mind of God. That's right. All right, son. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. What else? That ye may prove. What is that good? That you may prove that which is good. And acceptable. Wait a minute. And acceptable? And perfect will of God. And complete. That's Listen, right. we want to be complete in God's will. That's right. So the vision here, Hallelujah. moving forward. Hallelujah. I believe one scripture talked about if you look back, yeah, not you're not fit, fit. Not fit for the kingdom. For the kingdom. For the kingdom. Now, looking back, some folks say, well, you know, that brother, he backslide. We don't see him no more. Hmm. <laughs> Backsliding starts before a person is not present. That's right. Backsliding start when a mind become more worldly. Yeah. And the emotions of their heart of now heart. more lowered to the world more than it is God. That's right. That's why the Bible said the heart is the most deceitful thing and desperately wicked. Desperately wicked. So we become more attached to the world than we are God. And then the world affects us so much until we don't love God like we used to. That's right. Now the music that we used to didn't play in the house, now we're playing it. The type of crowd we didn't hang around, now we hanging around it. Yeah. Such as in the church now, dresses getting higher and higher and mm -hmm. higher and higher and higher mm -hmm. until it's only about that much below the knee. Mm -hmm. Thank God, but the word of God to come drop that thing down like an entire curtain. That's right. Huh? That's right. You get what I'm telling you? Mm -hmm. That's old fashioned holiness. Yeah. What do you say? I beseech you, therefore, brethren, mind, by the mercies of mind, God. Mind, mind, that you present what? That you present your body. All right, viewers that are watching around the world and you that are here, it's body time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's body time. Amen. It's time for you to give your body to God. You oh. gave your body to the devil too much, oh, too yeah. long, too often, mm -hmm. and in too many ways. That's right. It's amazing how the devil don't get no fight out of you. Mm -hmm. You don't have no resistance. The devil says smoke. All right. That's right. Devil said drink. What kind? <laughs> devil said come go to bed with me. When? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Devil said, you want to have sex? Where? Where? <laughs> That's right. Devil said, you want to sell drugs? Sure. Mm -hmm. Devil said, you want to gamble? Yeah, just pray over your ticket. <laughs> no, you got Christian lottery tickets players, you know. Mm -hmm. So-called Christian, you know, they get over, they play the lottery, then pray over it. Oh, God, I know you work in mysterious ways. 
consecrate this ticket. And if you give me this money, I'll build a kingdom for you. You a liar. I serve the devil. Go ahead and God. What did he say, son? I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. What do God want from the human family? That ye present your bodies. You might as well come on back to old-fashioned church. Oh, yeah. This modern stuff won't do nothing but spoil you and send you right to hell with the devil. That's and right. the pastor you got. That's right. It'll send you right to hell with them. Mm -hmm. You got to come on back to what the Bible said. Amen. You that have not uh, repented of your sins, it's time for you to do oh, it man. now. Now. You mm -hmm. that's in my presence right now. This is what you got to do. Mm -hmm. You got to do it. You got to present your body to God. That's right. And when you present your body to God, you got to humble yourself. Yeah. And when you humble yourself, listen, nobody make a change until you get tired of wrong. Yeah. You never grew up with people who've been doing the same thing since you knew them. Hanging out on the same corner. Same corner. They haven't changed their life for years. That's right. Drinking the same whiskey, it makes me feel good when I travel around the world and see so many young men. That's something you don't see in churches too much. Men. men. You can have a church of a thousand people, 995 maybe women. The last five is just men. It's true. But in the truth of God, we got an army all around the world. Oh, yeah. Men. <laughs> young men, middle aged men, old men. These young men would do better if they had a commander in chief to tell them. That's right. Listen, you can't be no soft, timid preacher, mm -hmm. scared to tell folk the truth. Mm -hmm. If a man is a hardcore sinner out there, you can't be playing with him. Look, Fred, he got to stop. Mm -hmm. Man, the Lord don't like ugly. You got to stop your wrong. That's right. Fred ain't going to take you serious. No, he won't. That's like we used to do in the hood, slap boxing. Yeah. That's the type of preachers, the way they deal with sin. Yeah. But when you get old school, you hit Fred with that Bible. Huh? That's right. yeah, I mean, you, you just can, you connect Fred. That's right. Huh? That's right. Uh, are, you, are you getting me? God, <laughs> thank God. You getting me? Amen. I got to lay in till you, thank God, until your soul get hurt with the Bible. That's right. Huh? That's right. Conviction got to set in your Shit. soul. Go ahead, man. When conviction Hallelujah. set in your heart, mm. you know you wrong. That's right. You know you a sinner. That's right. And nobody got to fight with you to be baptized. Amen. You will give up. I don't, sister, I don't care how beautiful you think you are. You're going to die one day. Yeah. You're going to die. Yeah. My God, the more can make you look like Cleopatra. <laughs> Amen. And brother, the more can make you look like Julius Caesar. Yeah. <laughs> and let the people march around and give their last words and cry and kiss that embalming fluid in your lips. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Amen. But the next time your eyes come open, I don't care if you've been dead 50 years. Mm -hmm. The next time your eyes come open, mm -hmm. it's going to be like an overnight sleep. That's and right. when you wake up and you're going to stand before your Lord before your in, judgment. in judgment. And God call your attention to everything you've done and remind you that he gave you a chance when you heard the word of God. Before but you thought you was too cute. That's right. You thought you was too cute to make a change. That's right. Brother, you thought you was too tough. Yeah. You thought you had too money. You drove too fast of a car. Yeah. But you will burn in hell. You will travel in hell quicker than a Ferrari can take you. Yes, you will. In this life, you are being prepared for one of the two. One of the two. Heaven or hell. Amen. You are the boss. Yeah. Be tough now. Be tough. You're your own man, your own woman, as you think. That's right. Heaven. Or hell, choose you this day. Mm -hmm. Whom you going to serve? If God be God, serve him. If the devil be God, serve him. You choose the way of God. Offer God your body. Give God your life. Give God your soul. Give God your mind, heart, body, and spirit. Repent of your sins. Be sorry about being a sinner. Mm -hmm. Get tired of living this loose, silly, Foolish, barbaric life right. that you think make you look cute and make you look foolish and ugly and embarrassing That's before right. the Lord that made you. Men and brethren, what shall we do? Do you hear this? In Acts chapter 2 and at verse 37. What shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, Bahamas. Amen. All right, Bahamas. Repent. So far, 18, I'm told, went down in water in the name of Jesus.